In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the odds in favor and the odds against. A few things you'll need to know before we get started is that the odds in favor of an event, let's say E, are found by taking the probability that E will occur and dividing it by the probability that E will not occur. Similarly, the odds against E are found by taking the probability that E will occur and dividing by the probability that it will not. Let's start with an example. If you roll a single six-sided die, a, find the odds in favor of rolling a 2. So let's find the odds of rolling a 2. Since it's a 6-sided die, that's 1 and 6. So the probability of rolling a 2 is equal to 1 over 6. The probability of not rolling a 2 is 5 out of 6. So probability not 2 is 5 out of 6. Now using the formula that they gave us, they want the odds in favor. So I'll take the probability of the event, 1 over 6, and divide it by 5 over 6. 1 over 6 divided by 5 over 6, and this is the probability of in favor. Now this is some basic math. We have 1 over 6 divided by 5 over 6. That's the same thing as saying 1 over 6 times 6 over 5. Notice that I took the reciprocal of this and changed the division into multiplication. We end up with 6 over 30 and that's equal to 1 over 5. So the odds in favor of rolling a 2 is 1 over 5 or 1 in 5. In question B, find the odds against rolling a 2. So just like before, we'll just flip the fraction. Instead of having 1 over 6 at the top, we have it in the denominator and 5 over 6 as the numerator. So 5 over 6 over 1 over 6, that's the same thing as saying 30 over 6. So the odds of winning are 5 to 1. So that's 5 to 1, and this is 1 to 5. In the next question, we're asked, the odds in favor of a particular candidate winning an election are 2 to 5. What is the probability that this candidate will win the election? So we're working backwards here. We'll call this first term of our ratio A and this second term B. And we'll use this formula where we can find the probability by taking 2 and dividing it by the sum of the terms. 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. Therefore, the probability of this candidate winning is 2 over 7. And of course, this is the information that we found in question 1 and then we worked towards this ratio, 2 to 5, but in our case it was 1 in 5. So essentially this is going in the opposite direction of what we did in question 1. For example, if I took 2 over 7 and divided it by the probability of not winning, which is 5 over 7, we would end up with 14 over 35. 14 over 35 is 2 over 5. And there you have it. That is how to calculate the odds in favor and the odds against.